Hello friends, welcome back to automationtestingsider.com. So as part of our question and answer series, today I come up with answers of my own questions which I have posted on my blog long back. So, so far we have covered uh, till here part uh, 7 test engine framework which we have discussed in the last video. We talked about different questions on test ng. So today we will discuss about Maven questions. So let me open this. And going forward we will discuss one by one Git and GitHub, Jenkins related questions and then Selenium framework. We have so many questions on Selenium framework. So we will talk about them. So I am preparing answers of all these uh, uh, other sections as well like Git and GitHub, Jenkins, Selenium framework and Selenium grid. So I will come up with answers one by one. So let's uh, start with this Maven because this is also an important part when you face any interview. So interview, interviewer uh, might ask at the time of interview that uh, uh, what is Maven and what uh, what do you mean by POM okay? and uh, what are what are the different uh, phases of life cycle of Maven. So these are the different questions uh, people might ask at the time of interview. Okay, so let's get started with the first question. What is Maven and explain its life cycle phases. So if you remember guys already I have covered uh, the topic related to Maven. So probably you can refer like how to install Maven and set up Maven. So at the bottom of this uh, uh, this one I have this video YouTube video link and I have created post on this as well. So this is the link of that post. So uh, let's come back to the first question. So what is Maven and explain its life cycle of phases, uh, life cycle phases. Okay. So Maven is build or project management tool. Build and project management tool based on concept of project object model. So this is POM. Okay. So POM is project object model. Uh, if you remember we are using the POM.xml file, right? So that contains information of project and configuration information for the Maven to build the project such as dependencies, build directory, source directory, test source directory, plugins, goals etc. Et so these are the different information this form contains. The default life cycle comprises of the following phases. So these are the uh, default life cycle of any build tool which comprises of validate, compile, test, package, verify, install and deploy. If you talk about Maven particularly, so Maven provides a common platform to perform these activities which makes programmers life easier. Because since this is build tool, so it does all these activities. So the first uh, cycle is like first uh, phase is cleaning, clean. Okay. It deletes all the artifacts and targets which are created already. Okay. So this is about the clean when uh, the second phase is compile. So these are the different stages guys. So you need to explain all these stages at the time of interview. If the interviewer, interviewer asked about the Marvel life cycle then you have to explain clean and then compile. Compile is used to compile the source code of the project. We have test. Test the compiled code and uh, compiled, uh, compiled code and these tests do not require to be packaged or deployed. So this is just to test. So if you remember when we run our build our uh, the pom.xml okay we'll see different plugins will be uh, executed okay different uh, phases will be so those are those are kind of maven life cycle okay we have seen in our framework also at the time of running the project we can see the different uh, the phases uh, involved in maven when we run the maven test okay so these are the different uh, phases so the first thing first thing is clean uh, and if you remember we when we run our uh, test the pom.xml through Jenkins we used to uh, write command like clean and install okay so that means it will clean the artifacts all the artifacts and targets which are created already compile is to compile the uh, uh, source code okay source code of the project so we have compiler plugin for that so we'll discuss about the compiler uh, in coming questions okay test the third would be test test the compile code and these tests do not require to be packaged or deployed. So this is just to test whether everything is working fine or not. Package. Package is used to convert your project into a jar or var etc. 
jar file or var file and install install the package into the local repository for the use of another project so this is a build tool guys so suppose uh, you are you are working in a development environment and you want the build right so this is how the the different phases involved uh, to create the build so what is maven and its advantages of using it in your selenium project so the benefits of maven so we can see the better dependency management so uh, we have uh, more powerful builds better debugging better collaboration more componentized uh, build uh, reduce duplication more consistent project structure okay so these are the different advantages of having maven what is the usage in selenium okay so we can create maven project for writing a script and create dependency using pom.xml okay so when we create the project maven project and then uh, when we run our selenium script right so we need so many different jar files we need a selenium java jar files and to work with excel sheet we need a apache pui or jxl and if you want to yeah uh, integrate uh, test ng then we need test ng jar files okay so these are the different jar files we required so using maven tool what we can do is we can easily download uh, we can uh, easily integrate all these dependencies in pom.xml okay and then automatically the maven will download all the jar files for us okay so using pom.xml once dependency is met uh, set maven will download all the dependency dependent jar files automatically and it and in future if any update comes from selenium or test ng side it will simply update all the required changes so let's say tomorrow you need uh, some different version so what we can do is we simply uh, uh, in our dependency we will just change the version and we'll, we have to just do the control s so automatically when we do the save it will automatically download we'll talk about the pom.xml as well incoming question which we, uh, we have as well why maven preferred on other so yeah which uh, we uh, we have seen uh, before like this the benefits of maven so you can explain about these things it's more powerful build than other what plugins you used in maven so what are the maven plugins okay so maven is actually a plugin execution framework so everything is uh, will be done using uh, in maven is using plugins okay so where every task is actually done by plugins so maven plugins are generally used to create jar file create var file compile code files unit testing of the code create project documentation create project reports so these are the different things which uh, will be done using plugins a plugin generally provides a set of goals okay which can be executed using the following syntax so whatever we'll do uh, using maven all will be done using maven plugins so this is the command of of, of any plugin so mvn is uh, the command and then plugin name colon goal name so here I have uh, given the example of uh, compiler plugin, mvn compiler and then compile. So this is the compile. So the task of compiler plugin is to compile the code, right? So this is how you can understand plugins type. So there are a couple of uh, two types of plugins. We have build plugins. So they execute during the build process and should be configured in the build element of pom.xml. So when we have one is the build plugin and another one is report plugin so they execute during the site generation process and they should not be configured it in reporting element of the pom.xml sorry they should be configured in the reporting tag so generally we use this build plugin okay i'll show you uh, in the pom.xml so there are two types of plugins we have build plugins and reporting plugins Yeah, so these are the different plugins guys clean compiler deploy fail save install resource copies site surefire plugins so if you remember we use this surefire plugin to run our test verifier so how do you define dependencies in your uh, maven project okay so we define the dependencies inside dependencies tag so please refer the below sample pom.xml so here i have uh, given a uh, simple pom.xml 
where I have defined different dependencies. So here we have to give group ID, artifact ID. When we create the main project, so automatically it will come. And this is the model version. And yeah, so this is the dependencies tag. So all the dependencies will be defined under this dependencies tag. And here you can see uh, that will be. Uh, I mean, uh, inside that we have this Selenium Java jar file, right? The Selenium Java uh, dependency that will be that is using this inside that dependency tag, correct? And this is the version. So group ID, artifact ID, and this is the version name. Similarly, we have for uh, test ng inside a separate dependency tag. Similarly, for uh, Apache PUI, like that, we have different dependencies in this. Pom.xml. So this is how we maintain our pom.xml. Okay, so suppose let's say tomorrow we want some other version, so we can easily implement. Uh, you need to update the version over here, and then you will get the jar required jar files for that particular version. Similarly, we have other commons dot commons hyphen io, and this is build uh, tag which we talked about uh, about the build uh, plugins. Okay, so inside that we have Maven compiler plugin and uh, uh, re release plugin. We have this execution plugin and this Surefire plugin. Inside that we set up our Sweet XML. Okay, guys. Uh, so here you can see inside configuration we have Sweet XML file. So here we can set up all the XML files. And if you remember, we have parameterized our test uh, using Jenkins. So here I have given the key like XML files, and there we can set up the parameterization in Jenkins. So it will it will execute all the XML files which we are going to set up in our uh, project. What is the name of the Maven folder which contains all the libraries? So uh, the local repository of Maven is a folder location on the developer's machine uh, where all the project artifacts are stored locally. When Maven build is executed, Maven automatically downloads all the dependency jars into the local repository. And that local repository, uh, the folder name is .m2. So this is the folder name where uh, all the files will be stored. And these are the different uh, Paths I have given over here uh, based on the different uh, operating system windows where it will be stored uh, Linux, Mac, okay, and Linux and Mac. Uh, this is the path without internet. Can we work with Maven repository? Uh, you need an, an internet connection because Maven isn't initially self sufficient because in, it needs to download different uh, plugins and dependencies, right? So we need internet connection. What is their difference? What is the difference between Maven and TestNG? So TestNG is testing framework, whereas Maven is build tool, build tool and project management tool. In Maven, from where the jar files get downloaded? So when you add dependency, so what do you mean by dependency? Dependency here means that your project depends on, correct? So that is what what the name uh, given as dependency. That is, if you want to use log4j in your project, then you have to depend uh, you depend on that library, correct? And we'll add that dependency in pom.xml. So your ID, uh, in case of let's say Eclipse, will use Maven to download the jar files and store them in your local repository. That is inside .m2 folder, so that you can compile your project and run it. So this is how it will be done. In Maven, do we have manually download and configure update the required jar files? So everything will be automatically uh, done. So no need of manual intervention in that case. So what are the different uh, plugins used for Maven and its use? So I think this is uh, already covered on question number four. What's the difference between a Maven project and Java project? So in normal Java project, if you want to work on third party APIs or application, okay, then you have to associate, uh, we need to associate with those jar files. We have to manually download all those jar files and we have to configure in the build path, correct? This is how we are, uh, will do, uh, we have done when we created a normal Java project, okay? Yeah, I have shown you earlier as well. 
whereas in maven project provide the third party api applications dependency in pom.xml okay we'll configure in pom. Uh, pom file and then click on maven install and then automatically those respective libraries will be auto automatically download in your project okay so this is how i mean uh, the main difference between maven project and java project normal java project in maven what are the two settings file called and what are their location so in maven the settings file are called settings.xml and the two setting files are located at this settings.xml so these two this is the directory of those settings file what is pom so pom stands for project object model we have already discussed on this so in maven it is fundamental unit of work and it is an xml file you can find it in the base directory of the project it consists of information about the project and various configuration details used by maven to build the project what is the command to build your maven site so this is the command mvn site what would be the what would the command maven clean do so this command deletes the target directory with all the build data before starting the build process so we talked about uh, mvn clean already so that is nothing but the mvn clean and this is the command tell me the command to install jar file in your local repository so mvn install is the command okay what is arc type so an arc type is a maven plugin whose task is to create a project structure as per its template what is the command to create a new project based on arc type so the command is mvn arc type colon generate what is snapshot in maven snapshot can be defined as a spe uh, special version that indicates a current deploy uh, deployment copy so these are the different questions guys uh, i think this would be enough like 20 questions are there so if you really understand like what is maven and how it works so i think that would be uh, more than sufficient when you face an interview and uh, yeah i have uh, as i have told earlier i have created a video uh, series on this maven so how to install how to set up the maven everything is there in this video and uh, yeah this is the post let me click on this one so maven introduction and setup i have uh, created so you can go through this uh, post as well i think this uh, contains every information and then we have videos as well i think i have three videos so probably you can refer this link so you'll go to that will take you to my channel and then you can see the playlist in my uh, youtube channel okay so in the next video we'll talk about git and github guys uh, so here i have listed on nine questions only but uh, i have i'm preparing different uh, some other questions as well so i'll come up with all those questions in the next video git and github related and some commands as well different uh, git commands okay so thank you guys for watching have a nice day and uh, please if you are uh, new to my uh, uh, youtube channel then please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much and please don't forget to follow this uh, blog as well here we have follow button so please follow this blog as well thanks a lot bye bye